of the IRB Women's Sevens World Series. Here, the Emirates Sevens Tournament with 12 top nations of women's sevens rugby. This the first of four official events this season. The ball with Sarah Guest, one of the smallest of the side from the Worcester Club. Going wide, and the interception is beautifully taken, and a real chance now for South Africa to get away with Primrose Gardu. They won't catch her. So from almost South African's line to the try behind England's goal line. Well, she saw it well, read it well, didn't she? It was just opportunity. If the ball had have gone out wide there for England, they would have been over for a try themselves. But Gadu, she showed a good rugby brain to just go and grab the intercept and plenty of speed to make it. They lead 12-0 with one second or so. Well, there is the hooter. England having very little possession. Oh, and that's a beautiful dummy. Yolanda Mehring, what a start for this first half by South Africa. Yolanda Mehring, a beautiful, beautiful uh, try. After the break, Spain got so close again here. And then finally, Elizabeth Martinez sees the opportunity, tries. Very open, this one. Tremendous pace here. And it's Ruth Laybourne, who's been England's top scorer already. She scored three, and there's number four. Beautifully done, Ruth Laybourne. Chance here again, then. And it is Ruth Laybourne again. Well, it's great to have a flyer on the outside wing, isn't it? Archer manages to get the ball back. Through the hands, it goes wide past. This is Mervyn. Barbara Mervyn steps inside the attempted tackle of Petrova, and Canada eventually gets something back on the scoreboard. Excellently worked try, and it's amazing what you can do with the possession of the ball. Yamoskaya, quick tap, restart, and goes. So switch back play here from Petrova. Petrova finds some space in the defence, and goes all the way for Russia's third try. And Marina Petrova just showed what pace she has to split that Canadian defence. Straight through. Obviously, Canada tried to reel it in there with Phillips, who is a very fast athlete. But Petrova, I guess she must be pretty quick herself to get over for that. <laughs> You know, Sky up. Oh, just individual brilliance, just the awareness from the scrum. Excellent try there by the scrum half and made it look so simple. So, Canada to Kish. She just goes directly ahead. So she knows best. This time the red and whites go wide and they're looking good. This is Paquin. Option is to go short and she is over. That is a very important try. The New Zealand defence really scrambling and she's made it across. That's a double. Manuel pushes it pushes it out to her weapons, which is McAllister and Woodman. And they're making great ground here. And Woodman, that was a beautiful little shimmy there. She's still going, pops it up. McAllister cleans up the ball. Can she make it to the try line? She's looking for support. And it comes in Hudiana Manuel. What a finish for New Zealand. The game was decided when Australian Player of the Year, Emily Cherry, showed some class to break the line of defence.
then once over the try line headed to the post to give Australia the advantage and conversion and they weren't finished yet accurate passing and Kobe Jane Morgan jogged over final score 24 12 Australia looking switch and slick Kobe Jane Morgan leaves it to Tricia Brown and that's a terrific orthodox try skills pace great passing terrific well Tricia Brown really a tremendous experience and look at the breaks again Australia well no answer to this and once again Rebecca Tavo has been in the vanguard she set the start the standard and it's been a terrific performance really I saw her packing down in the scrum. She's uh, the target in the line out as well, of course, down from uh, Linda Franson. Another basic error. He has a chance for the US, and uh, they're going to get the first try then. Gillian Potter it is who goes in. Linda Franson there taking the quick tap. Oh, a bit of space found. Now he has a real opportunity. Oh, that's super running that from Kelly van Haaskamp. The little ankle tap attempt there from Robbie Arla, but no chance. And, uh, well, the try scoring machine has eventually got a try then for the U.S. Virtually the first time that they've got into the U.S. half of the field, the Netherlands. Ball brilliantly kept in field as well by uh, Vanessa McGee. Breakaway opportunity here. The ball might have been touched by the U.S. So he has a real chance here for Linda Franson. Oh, she's done well. A lovely little run around there. 